Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme, here with a very talented individual. What's going on? How, how you feeling, man? Good, fam. Good. First off, let them know your Instagram, where you from. Let's let's get into it, man. Yo, this your wool tight, man. Straight out of Tallahassee, Florida. You can follow me on all platforms at the Real Tight D A R E A L T Y T E. For sure, man. So, Tallahassee, Florida. Yo. This is where you grew up. Um, did you do any traveling when you were younger, or like did you spend most of your time down there? Uh, most of the time was in yeah in Tallahassee. Um, you know we went to Orlando and mm -hmm. then came to Georgia a couple of times, but now the vast majority of my life was in Tallahassee for yeah. sure. Uh, were you involved in sports earlier? Like what was like your younger life like? Oh, um, I used to play sports. I used to play uh, football, but. I like a pretty boy, I ain't like get, yeah. you know what I'm saying, get just, touched. You just, just walk around the neighborhood cool. Yeah, yeah, I feel clean, it, I feel you know, it. So, so you must have been big on shoes. Yeah, big time. What was your favorite Jordan? Uh, it had to be out of the 10s, 11s, and the 13s. The 11s is just a cold <laughs> shoe. Uh, facts. It's just like they go wherever. You can hoop in and then you can rock them out. Uh, you know facts, what I'm saying? The two facts. for one. Get <laughs> what was some early musical influences being from Tallahassee? Um, and what were y'all jamming back in the day, like middle school? High school for me it was play mm. like that was that was like big artist big influence on me even the city as well you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying when he came out like that was like my you know my era mm -hmm. but nah yeah like Plies growing up on Trick Daddy yeah um you know stuff like that uh, MJG uh, yeah. JT Minor you know stuff like that Luke and shit like that facts now speaking of Trick Daddy right I mean you signed a Slip and Slide Records yeah. I mean legendary. Label, if you don't know, it's produced. I mean, some of the greatest artists, Trick Daddy, Trainer, right? But being signed to that label, how much has it helped and like supported your career so far? Oh, uh, tremendously. You feel what I'm saying? You know, uh, being part of that roster, that lineup, definitely, uh, it um, brought more recognition on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like I say, I been holding my own, doing my own thing, you know what I'm saying? But just to have that brand and that, that umbrella, you know, attached to my name, it, it definitely opened some doors and opportunities for me. For sure. Um, what do you feel like has been one of your biggest coastlines so far? I ain't even had one. Shit, and you up yeah, here with us, man. Come on, real, now. That real. Like, I ain't even, you know, I ain't even had no no cosign from no major artists or no, you know what I'm saying, woo to woo outside of Slip and Slide. Yeah. You know, like, everything just been strength, you yeah. know, just on the muscle, just putting the work in. Most definitely. What would you say is, like, or when you were first starting to make music, I mean, was your city getting behind you? Who, or what were some of your like biggest like affirmations? Like, okay, I might as well keep going because it's my support system. Uh, that's all I had. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been doing music since the age of six, and that's mm -hmm. just something that I always relied on. You feel what I'm saying? And I always enjoyed the the the, the starlight, so mm -hmm. I already knew like. I was gonna be some with this entertainment shit, but mm -hmm. you know the music. The music is with something that I stuck with. So, and one more so, I needed support or you know a, a confirmation from somebody. It was just some shit that was in me that I was like, man, I got to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. So, the extra support or you know from the city or whatever, it mm -hmm. came alone. I thought I got a little name and recognition, but you know for the most part of it, I put I'm self I'm self driven. Most definitely. What would you say is like your typical? Uh, studio process. Do you write? Are you a freestyler? Like, what's what's some of your motivation when you get into the uh, studio? I used to be, you know, do a lot of punch ins. Mm -hmm. You know, I had got comfortable with that. But mm -hmm. the only thing with me with the punch ins is like the process moved too fast. So mm -hmm. you, you know, you could you 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 run into them problems where you hit a record late on. You like, dang, I could have said this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I could have said something. Woo, the woo, that would have been a little bit better. But now I write. You know, mm -hmm. I take my time with it. Has it been a big shift? Like, how have you been able to, like, you know... Or do you still do both? you still punch uh, in? It, it's been... I noticed the the, the quantity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With the punch in, you get more, you know what I'm saying, more work done. But yeah. the quantity over the quality, I understand that. It's I, a whole you know, difference, it's, isn't it? It's a big difference. You yeah. know, my, my records come out a little bit more prestige mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I feel like... Now I'm in that phase and that time in my life. I'm just taking my time with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to overdo it, over rush it. For sure. What's your What's your average day like? Ah uh, man, I got a little one. I got a little girl. So <laughs> okay. I get up early, man. Yeah. You know, she had me on my toes, but <laughs> now nah, once once I you know get her situated, I'm, I'm recording, recording and, and and content and figuring out the next move. You yeah. know, I, I I never try to sit down in one place or sit down in one spot and not do nothing. For sure. 
What's two things you got on your bucket list this year as an artist? Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Uh, damn, that's a good question. <laughs> two, two things. I wanna two, blow two this things, year, but yeah. you know, everybody say like blow as in, man, the, the stardom, the fame. Mm -hmm. You know, I want that too as well. The recognition for that too as well. But I think just my biggest thing just. Get my music, you know, to mm -hmm. a different audience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, as long as I'm growing, I'm good. Exactly. You feel me? Like I want to be able to look back next year around the same time and be able to like, well, now you here now. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So I can't really pinpoint exactly, you know, what mm -hmm. it is. But for the most part, a lot further than what I'm is right now. You most know, definitely. more connection, more resources, more relationships built, yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Most definitely. I think that's for anybody, right? Most definitely. Um, who's some new artists that you're listening to that's out right now that's, that's caught your attention that you're rocking with? Oh, uh, I'd be late to you know, late to I'd be scene. surprising <laughs> or not. I'd be late to it. If it's on the radio, you know, sometimes, but there you are. Like, most yeah, definitely. Most definitely. For real. Um, especially from the city, because Tyler has it going on right now. Yeah. Man. Shout out to uh, Lil Tyler. You know sure. what I'm saying? Uh, Lil Brett doing his thing right doing now. Doing his thing. And I love the, 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 the communication. Uh, the 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 message he giving out, mm -hmm. you know, he ain't no no kid trying to be too hard. He's he just money. playing shit. You feel yeah, me? bit player shit. Out you know what I'm saying? And that's the vibe. That's the wave I be on. You mm -hmm. feel me? So definitely salute Lil Bro. I love what he doing. Um, man, that's a lot on that going crazy in Florida, but it's particularly him because he from the city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I take my hat off to Lil Bro for well, sure. Definitely. How do you feel like the? Do you feel like the city is starting to get more recognition? Cause you know when. You, you look at big music cities, right? People always bring up Atlanta, New York, LA, Houston. But you know, right now, especially if you're on TikTok and Instagram, like the Florida sound is yeah. growing. How do you feel uh, about that? And like, what are you doing to make sure that like your sound is staying different to everything that's coming out too? Um, I feel like it's good right now. Like Florida, Florida definitely got a, a big wave right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I say, uh. I feel like the energy that I bring, mm -hmm. you know, and the concepts and the stuff, the things that I talk about is what make me different from, you know, other Florida artists. Yeah. Man. Even when you get around me, like, I'm throwing through it. I'm the same way that you see me in the screen, the same way in person, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, for the most part, I feel like my personality play a, you know, a, a big, big role yeah. in my success, you feel me? Like, I don't have to carry that, uh... That cloud over my shoulder where I got to be the big dog in every room. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to be the fly on the wall. Exactly. You know? Just observe and see you what's feel going me? on. And it, yeah. and it, it plays hand in hand in my character with my music and, you know, with me in real life. So I feel like that alone caused me to, you know, step away and, and shine from others. You mm -hmm. feel me? So, yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Who are some people that you haven't had a chance to work with just yet? What's on your list? Oh, uh, from Florida or just in general? In general. That's a good question. Like, I'd be more so hooked on the female artists. I'd yeah, they're going up right now, man. Like, it's a way. Nah, fast. Like, Lotto, for yeah, sure. Super um, I like uh, Sexy Red. Like, she, she going she crazy. She Suki. Hard. Shout yeah. out to Suki. Um, Bill, I love Bill. Bill, 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 Bill hard, hard. Yeah. You feel me? Um, they are mostly like. Rather that I want to work with like the female artists. Shout out to Glorilla as well. Yeah, you facts. feel me? Like she 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 going crazy. She producing them anthems and Most representing definitely. for something. Yeah. So yeah, I just tap in with you know with the female artists. I think that's my next my next moves trying to you know work on. Most definitely. So for all the folks that's out here watching, like what's next for you? And this time next year, where do you see yourself? Uh, next, my project, man. I just dropped, well, I just dropped a brand new record, um, FYP. For sure. Out right now on all platforms. Um, but I'm working towards my, uh, my project, debut project, uh, hopefully this June, what the street's been waiting on. For sure. And hopefully this time next year, looking back, man, I've been done moved over a quarter million, uh, <laughs> <laughs> quarter million units. Got a couple of Grammys, <laughs> BT Awards, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to work towards that way, man. Most well, definitely, real, man. Real. We truly appreciate you coming definitely in and sitting down with us. Again, let them know where to follow you out on Instagram, man. For sure, man. Again, this your whole tight, man, straight out of Florida. Follow me on every platform at The Real Tight. That's D-A-R-E-A-L-T-Y-T-E. For sure. Gang.